something before I begin. So I'm going to write to me that these flowers are very healing, so they're sending healing energies out as your service. Thank you, thank Our spiritual writing is from the Holy Bible from the ancient Eastern text, George Lance's translation from the Aramaic of the Peshitta, the Gospel of Matthew, and Matthew's teaching the words of Christ. Chapter 7, verses 15 through 20. Be careful of false prophets who come to you in man's clothing, but with them they are ravening wolves. You will have no one by your fruits. Do they gather grapes from thorns, or figs from thistles? So every good tree bears a good fruit. But a bad tree bears bad fruit. A good tree, a good tree cannot bear bad fruit. Neither can a bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree which does not bear good fruit will be cut down and cast into the fire. Thus, bear your fruit, you will know them. And I interpret this as saying that a person's true nature determines the kind of fruit they will produce, what they bring out to our world. Be careful of those persons who influence your life. Does it feel the good or is it not so good? No one produces fruit different to their true nature. 
now that may be disguised. All the threats you remember, and this is very important, as, as it is spoken twice in this short paragraph, and it brings us a definite word message in these words. Now the good I want to ask, you will love them. Now their fruit, you will love them. So I say, be aware and recognize the good fruit. Two weeks ago, during the service, Reverend Glenn presented some members of our church with a word of ribbons to honor them for the good fruits they bring to our church, each in their own individual way. This brought to my mind a short phrase which I cut from the parade in the morning car on Sunday, some 30 years ago. Why my children know well? I'm not that old, really. It is find the good and praise it. This phrase was a short article which helped me to learn about finding the good in our things. To give praise to my children and reinforce the good, not what is not good, as my parents and many parents during my time of growing up emphasized. This is what I grew up with. I did not want my children to grow up with that. And I was happy to learn this phrase and be aware of finding the good. And I was able to give this gift to my children, and now I see they find the good in their children. Anyway, I cut about my tape up to my refrigerator, and I just threw it away a few months ago when I finally came. But, it was not for a reason. Well, actually, it was a little teeny tiny sliver of one of people. It was a little teeny tiny point. But I put it where I could see it every day. And through the years, every time I moved, this little paper moved with me. It taught me to be a better person and helped me to be better able to keep myself calm and cope with things when things didn't go the way I think they should be going. I recall a time when I when first moved into an old stone farmhouse. I heard all this noise around 3 a.m. I went downstairs to find my son, who was probably four years old, standing on a chair in the kitchen washing dishes. If that's went through my head, he could have fallen off this chair, he could have scalded himself with hot water, he could have broke the glass and cut himself, he's really upset me, but instead of screaming, which would be my mother, right, I saw that little face on my fridge, and I said, what are you doing? He said, Mommy, I'm washing the dishes for you because I know you don't like to do that. So I was really happy that I did not treat this in a negative way. Sort of, I could have confessed by saying in a negative way forever. <laughs> it's just a tiny little sentence, but it can make a big difference in many lives. I did not know who wrote it, and as I was preparing for today's message, I just had to find out who was the author of this phrase. It took me a long time to find it on the internet, but I was allowed it to find that this was from a great author and Pulitzer Prize winner, Alex Haley. I also found that this quote, Find the Golden Prize, was the subject of commencement ceremonies in 2008 for a graduating class. Um, it was given by the United States Senator Lamar Alexander. And he emphasized that we can make great changes in our country if we found the good and praise it. Through the years, Reverend Glenn has given certificates and the award ribbons to many of us, recognizing the good. Today, I would like to give an award to Reverend Glenn. (laughs) 
SS, the founder group and place of the world. Because you recognize the best in people and praise them and give them appreciation. And I want you to know So we can do, try our best, do our best. Nobody can ask for anything more from you that will burst. Whatever that may be. Many times it is difficult to find the good in a situation. Sometimes, no matter how hard we look at something, we cannot find even a small bit of good at the time. And also at that time, because sometimes, down the line, after it has all passed, we find the good from the outcome. It gives you a good outcome. And no matter how small it is, and if we concentrate on the good, we will find even more good. Sometimes we cannot find even a tiny spark of good in a person or a situation. During most times, we just have to trust in the wisdom of our God. But we cannot ever stop looking for the good. I think maybe sometimes God sees us kind of growing in the wrong direction. And we have floods and earthquakes and war and catastrophes of all kinds. Among the deaths and destruction, what do we have? We have the good of the people. The people who normally don't even say hello to you if they pass you up and down the street. In these times, they are helping each other in camaraderie and brotherhood. They find the good and they find the bad, even in terrible conditions. The future prophecies of 2012 are frightening to some people. It is said that it could be the end of the world. I believe that it could be the end of the world as we know it. And I know we will all benefit from changes. So I think we have about two and a half years left to make changes in our lives. And you know how time goes so fast. We need to find, we need to find the good and if we can't find the good, we need to make the changes in our lives and in our world to bring about the good for the good of our people and our earth prior to 2012. Many of us have physical problems. Actually, it could be physical, emotional, or spiritual. Some the good and close it. Even though I have lots of aches and pains, my mind works most of the time. My eyes and ears are usually, usually my mouth. And I can walk and move and breathe. These are good things. And there are so many good things to praise to my body. There are too many things to mention. Whatever seems a map world is overpowered by that which is good. The I sometimes get lost when I find all the good things in my body. I want to say thank you, body, and thank you, God, for this. Now, I'm thinking of kind of strange these days. Maybe from spending so much time in Egypt, where the only river in the world flows the wrong way from south to north. Or, maybe it's the only river in the world that flows the right way. I think I am willing to actually think backwards, to look at life in a different way, to think the opposite, or at least look at the opposite. The opposite of what I was taught and conditioned to do. And think throughout my life and make changes. 
this weekend we celebrate Memorial Day. This is a day of remembrance for those who have given their lives in our nation's service. It is not only about those who have died, it is about all those who suffer from the, of the effects of their service to our country and their loved ones. It is about remembering the tremendous sacrifices made by our, the loved ones included, serving in the past and the present. All of them are heroes, and we praise them in all their goodness, their godness. Many years ago, I had the opportunity to, and pleasure, to attend many Native American powers. It was rare that anyone was invited to dance with the Native American dancers. We shall know only a very special person was invited. Most every power that I attended had a special dance for the highest honors to the veterans of our country, the warriors. They found the goodness and praised the veterans. And this was a very beautiful, silent, and healing ceremony. And let us remember on this Memorial Day, our country, these are not the best of times in many ways. Let's not emphasize the negative things. In this way, we give energy and power to the negative, which is not good. We need to find the good things happening in our America, the beautiful. And we praise and thanks to our Heavenly Father for our wonderful country. Even if you don't care for a new president, I ask you, find something good about him and focus on that. Think about, talk about the good. You need to keep the energy positive and nurture the power to the positive and good in our country. We are working together and giving our effort in any way we can to go through difficult times. And we work. We are all one in this country and on this entire earth. We need to help each other. And this we find the good. We do find the good by helping others. And we find our God in each other. As I said, I am thinking kind of strange these days. Is it a coincidence that the word good is God with an extra O? Or is it good is God with an extra O? In conclusion, I hope you found something good in this message today. If you didn't, I have something good to point out. This message was short and sweet and to the point. What more can I say? It's simple and self explanatory. Find the God. Find God in our things, people, places, and situations. Find the good and praise it. And I thank you. Thank <laughs> you.